2014 a Ram 1500. You ever turn right or left and it seems like the steering wheel goes umphity umph, like it gets tightened and loosed and tightened and loose? Well, that'd be your U joints in your steering shaft, your intermediate shaft. So, to replace that intermediate shaft, you need to remove the left front tire. That's a 23 millimeter socket room for the lug nuts. And then you need to go up inside here and get to it. All right, there's the steering shaft, the intermediate shaft, and I took the bolt out. It's a 13, so you need to take that bolt out of there. Get some penetrant on there. And then I'm pretty sure I gotta remove the upper one too to allow it to slide on something. So you need to take that bolt out and then I need to take the upper bolt on the steering shaft too. I'm gonna have to lower that down and go through the inner fender wall to get to it. See, there's the shaft, the black thing, and there's the bolt. It's a 13, so get to it through right here. All right. And then we need to get some penetrant on those splines so I can push that shaft the intermediate shaft up higher to get it off of the, the steering rack. All right, my bolt head was rounded off. I'm gonna take a 13, had to hammer a half inch on there. Now what you need to do is turn the steering shaft so you see the slot where the uh, two pieces are, where it crimps it at. You need to stick a screwdriver in there and hit it with a hammer and open that up a little bit so you can pound that shaft that way onto them splines to get it off of the steering gear, okay? I uh, opened it up a little bit. So I think it's gonna work. So now I'm gonna raise it back up and get it off the steering gear. All right, here it is. It came off of it like that. This was on the bottom. The bolt was on the bottom, so you wanna remember that when you're going together. So here it is. All right, match it up to your new one. All right, make sure you clean off the shafts best you can and put some NSCs on them a little bit. And there's the, the U-joint. See, it's not working that way. But it'll work this way, but not that way, okay? So there it is, it's a total 11 inches. Both ends equally just look the same. I can't tell you what's top and what's bottom. So I'm going to assume this is the bottom. It looks the same to me, so I don't know. So I'm going to stick it on the steering shaft first, and then I'm going to slide it down onto the gearbox, the steering rack. And then I'll put my bolts in and I'll tighten them up. Let's see how that goes. All right, put your steering shaft, your intermediate shaft on your steering shaft, put your bolt on there and tighten it up. And what I found out was that the steering shaft, it's higher than that, slides up and down. So all you gotta do is pull that shaft down onto the steering gear. Make sure it's lined up and you can get it lined up and then maybe you can pull it down onto the steering shaft or use a small little popping hammer to tap it on. I'm gonna try it from underneath. Get the shaft lined up with where your little uh, part is for the uh, bolt to go in. Make sure you line that part up on the shaft. Pull the shaft down onto the uh, gearbox, the rack. And just keep pulling on it, and you'll you'll pull it down on it because it just pulls pretty easy. And just slide it on there, and then put your bolt in there, and then tighten it up. And one other thing, make sure you don't be spinning that steering shaft up there by the steering wheel. Try to keep it all in the same spot, or a reference to where you were 
in which directions you go because you don't want to ruin your steering, uh, your airbag uh, clock spring. All right. So now I gotta turn it and I gotta put my bolt in there and I gotta tighten my bolt. Okay, my bolt is in, it's tightened, and that's it. That's how you do that intermediate shaft. If I uh, helped you do this intermediate shaft, maybe you can help me by subscribing. If you already subscribed, I appreciate it, and I thank you.